morning you adorable little baby Huddly dog snow dog welcome to today's vlog we are going on a journey today to two places if we can cover two places we actually go to two places and what's more interesting to us is that we are going to bring two new friends along with us today it's kind of interesting uh one of them has a name called drain water we haven't actually asked them why they call him drain water but that's like the nickname they call him drain water chinese they call it long kang sui or long ko sui which basically means drain water and we're gonna go out with kai ming whom you guys probably have not seen in our vlogs but uh, I'll tell you more about them later on and it's really interesting we're really happy to go out with them today so come along with us to our adventure to the two really interesting places if we can cover these two places today today is one of those days where you wake up in the morning and you feel really I don't know like enthusiastic for I have no idea what reason the thing is I actually slept very little last night I had like three hours sleep yeah, right after making another video I had three hours sleep and we're here again so I don't know why or where I'm getting this energy from but I feel like I'm gonna get really tired later on in the day. We are here to meet two really humble and nice people who have really helped us quite a lot. Yeah, there, there you see they're actually coming. Yeah, both of them are really, really... Okay, the one in black isn't that shy. <laughs> isn't that shy. <laughs> and then this one is obviously so shy in the novelty guy shirt. Zhao san hao! Yeah, okay, the thing is that they only speak Mandarin and they have very basic knowledge on English. Uh, Long Go Sui, you can English. New thing. Oh, okay. So he can understand and he can speak English. Yes. And this is Kai Ming. So we call him Long Ko Sui. Why do people call you Long Ko Sui? I don't know. Huh? We are going for breakfast now and then we'll go on to the next location. The first thing is to actually understand like uh, their daily lifestyle, where they actually go and eat, what they do on a daily basis. Yeah. Okay, the second thing is that um, it's actually a challenge for me to make this video because they don't really understand English, they speak Mandarin. It's gonna be a bit difficult, yeah, to to try to make everything work together. This is their breakfast. <laughs> so they're practicing some magic effect that I just showed them, which is to make the coin go through the table. So by hitting it fast enough, it's supposed to go through the table. Yeah. We just had our breakfast here. And now we're going here for lunch. <laughs> Apparently this is a store owned by one of their friends, parents or so. So we're just gonna check it out. Like just go see what they have and maybe support a little. Right, so now we are on our way after our breakfast. We are on our way to the crocodile farm. Everybody decides that they want to stop for some snacks first before we go on a long trip. It's gonna be about an hour trip or an hour and a half. We're gonna eat lunch later. Okay. Where are you going to eat? Cheese, cheese, Zaru, Ice cream. I love that. <gasps> you actually saw the video just now. He dropped an ice cream, and I'm telling you straight that most Singaporeans, as we know, will just put the ice cream back and then they take a new one for themselves. But here, they just eat whatever they have, and that's something that I really, you know, I'm very happy to see in like their kind of correct and attitudes. Golden attitude that I, I think they have. Mai yeah, mai sumo. Mai jiang to yo mei yo. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised that none of you purchased chewing gum. <laughs> so nobody knows why they don't buy chewing gum. <laughs> Used to be something quite cool, it's like, oh, Singapore doesn't have chewing gum, let's buy chewing gum. Yo chong. Yo chong. Mm, this is like one of the more interesting trips that we have ever had. Like, you know, in this trip where we learn Chinese, they learn English, and there's like cultural differences. Why is it so sensitive to the Hello, say hi. Hello. Say hi. Hello. 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 <laughs>
tower now and it's like in the middle of the jungle so you can see like the trees are just everywhere and the sea is behind us I half have no idea whether these are for sale or for you know photography because they just said that these I mean these look like they are for sale right but these are here just for photo taking so you can actually carry them out for photos this is crocodile world and we're gonna go in a while why do their rabbits have eyes which are so closed look it's like a Chinese rabbit today's actually a national holiday for them too so that's why you see a lot of people here it smells like tortoises <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile is just resting. Bother, I just. I am so hoping that um, not the whole area is gonna be like that. Because so far from the entrance to here, it's just crocodiles just lying down and doing nothing. Look at that. All of them just resting. Gosh. And Kaiming keeps thinking that maybe some of them are fake. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's getting bigger. This crocodile has no tail. Okay, finally, the first crocodiles that we see like you know moving yeah. oh it's coming it's reacting to the vibrations in the water oh man oh man it's reacting to them banging this thing <laughs> i think it's like the sound they hear for food Oh, you Oh, Gosh, this looks weird. I mean, the crocodiles down here, some of them really look, you know, abnormal. I have no idea why. But that looks like, you know, it's big enough to be like a huge platform for you to step on. The crocodiles look like they are playing stackeroo. This looks like a game of, you know, like, how do you cross from A to B walking on crocodiles? Like a long ladder across. To be very honest, I am still expecting to see something more interesting than just, you know, huge compounds with crocodiles just lying around so far it looks like we are already back to the entrance look it's a, it's a huge it's a huge loop okay but what's quite sad so far is that it's just crocodiles you know lying there they're just doing nothing and that's basically this from start to end it's just crocodiles the same type of crocodiles at least that we see they're just lying there and just doing nothing so you know hopefully we get to see a bit more having said that the entrance fee is about two dollars or you know, two dollar thirty cents it's really cheap but you know still I, I do hope that we get to see more right I mean we visit a place not because of the price only but really what we want to see so that's that's pretty much it we are back to the entrance and this whole loop took us like maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes and we're back out here photo taking that's what I want it's a live crocodile they are having this like small crocodile here. No, not not a boy. A crocodile. So everybody wants to touch it. No, no, no. It is so adorable. It's a real one. And it feels like you know like the lizard skin. It feels so good. The hand feels like a lizard hand too. So soft. And then the top is hard. So the softness stops around the side. And then it gets harder and harder as it goes up. I think when you grow bigger, uh, yeah. What happens when we go near the eyes? Let's see. Will it close its own eye? Oh, it doesn't close its eye. Look. <laughs> see, it doesn't close its eye. It just opens the eye even when I go close. It's not like, you know, like dogs and cats. They actually close the eye. <laughs> Stroking it here will cause it to close its eyes. Okay, this is like the counter that is at the entrance of this uh, crocodile world and yeah. apparently they do sell crocodile meat. Okay, so they sell crocodile meat and if you want, they actually cook it for you because you have to cook the crocodile meat yourself. 
quick for you and it costs ten dollars for a bowl like that. It's like a I don't know, like pump size bowl, ten sing dollars. Long Kang Sui kind of love uh, looking at crocodiles. He loves touching them. He keeps going to the crocodile and just touch them. That's good, that's good. 